What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler. Today I'm here at Rare Pair and I've got something crazy. Inside this box we've got a one of one original Yeezy One sample from Kanye himself. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at Real Seth Fowler if you haven't yet. But with all that being said, Let's get into it. Really quick before we get into the video, I want to give a huge shout out to Rare Pair for letting me come out here and film and check out all these crazy sneakers. In particular, the pair that's in this box. This pair is listed at $250,000. It's been at Rare Pair, it's been at Flight Club, it's been all over the place. And it was actually one of Kanye's personal pairs. There's a picture in before any of the Yeezys released. Checking this sample out. Sent your samples to factory. We'll get you more back soon. We'll send to you first. The box itself is just a sample box, it's unmarked, but what's inside is the craziest part. So guys, I'm gonna stop all the small talk. Without further ado, here it is, the very first Kanye West Yeezy One Nike sample. I'm basically holding a house down payment in my hands. I don't know why they're letting me hold this. This is crazy. So you guys are probably all familiar with when Kanye debuted the Yeezy one at the Grammys. This pair is very similar to those, except there are a couple minor differences, like material choices, to differentiate this pair from the Grammy pair. For one, this pair is dead stock. I mean, if you consider a shoe still being dead stock after it's tried on by Kanye West. So uh, I think that helps the value a little bit. Around the toe box, you've got this premium black suede, which really feels nice to the touch. Running from the midfoot of the sneaker all the way around to the tip of the toe, you've got this perforated shorter suede. This whole toe box feels really, really soft and really plush. I would assume that that's just because it's a sample. Continuing back on the sneaker, you've got that signature Nike Yeezy strap. This time around, it's in this gloss black patent leather. Another interesting omission on this particular sample is that there isn't actually any wide debosses into this material. It's all just plain gloss black. The nice thing is, because the shoe is technically dead stock, it hasn't gotten any creases or any wrinkles in it yet, so it still looks super, super clean. Underneath the patent leather strap, you've got these black wax laces with these really awesome gold aglets. Because this sneaker is a sample, there isn't a Yeezy lace lock, so that's one of the differences between this pair and the regular retail pair. I hate calling it a regular retail pair because none of the Yeezys are really regular, but you know what I'm saying. At the top of the tongue, there isn't any Yeezy tag. It's just this really plush suede tongue. Inside the shoe, you've got a black neoprene sock liner, which is pretty plush. Of course, the shoe is in size 12, which is Kanye's size, and I would assume is also very comfortable. The insole of the shoe is plain black. There isn't any Yeezy branding on it whatsoever. In fact, there isn't any Yeezy branding anywhere on the shoe. The entire underside of the strap is covered in Velcro, and like I mentioned before, there isn't any Yeezy branding underneath the strap or anywhere else on the shoe. Moving back on the sneaker, the entire heel and lace wing of the shoe is covered in this plush leather. One of the craziest features of this particular sample pair is that you've actually got this glow-in-the-dark swoosh. Unlike the outsole of the shoe, which glows green, this actually glows blue. The leather on the swoosh is this really nice tumbled white leather which actually looks really clean. Moving around to the back of the shoe, the pull tab of the sneaker is just plain black. There isn't any Yeezy branding on it whatsoever, unlike the regular Yeezys that released. At the top of the laces, underneath the aglets, you actually don't have a lace lock like the regular Yeezys. That of course is because this is a sample pair and they probably just didn't figure out what the lace lock would look like yet. Moving down the shoe, you get to the midsole which is actually taken from the Air Jordan 3. The midsole of the shoe is painted in matte black to match the rest of the upper. Of course, you do still have that Air Zoom unit in the heel. It's clear so you can see right through it. Finally moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got your standard Air Jordan 3 outsole, except this time around isn't really so standard because of course it is a glow in the dark outsole. Of course a lot of people's favorite feature of the Air Yeezy is the glow of the outsole and this particular pair does not disappoint because the glow is crazy. Overall guys, this crazy first run sample of the Air Yeezy one, I mean is one of the most insane pairs of shoes I've ever held. I've seen the shoe go for $250,000 so I'm basically holding like a Tesla or like a down payment on a house. I mean, this is wild. I shouldn't be allowed to touch this, to be honest with you guys. The materials on the upper are super plush and super premium. The leather is really, really nice. From what I can tell from the inside of the shoe, I'm sure it'd be really comfortable. It is definitely a high sneaker, so if you like high shoes, this might be the way to go for you if you have $250,000. And of course, if you guys are Kanye fanboys, the craziest part is that this particular pair was actually tried on by Kanye. Yes, there were previous Yeezy pairs in the past with other brands, but this is the particular pair that started it all. This is what started the hype. This is what got everyone on Yeezys. I mean, you can't get any more original than this. I feel like I'm holding the holy grail right now. This is crazy. I mean, this is the ultimate grail. If you're a crazy Yeezy collector and need that one last crazy Yeezy to finish off your collection, or hey, you just want to own this pair of shoes, make sure to check out Rare Pair on social media. They'll be dropping the information on how to win this pair of shoes. I mean, the fact that they're actually giving this away rather than selling it is pretty insane. I know I'm going to get home and know there was more I could have said about this shoe or more I could have showed you guys, but I'm kind of like, I'm speechless. I'm in the presence of Yeezys right now. I, I... 
Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of this crazy Kanye owned Yeezy sample. Also make sure to stay tuned to Rare Pair on their Instagram and all their social media for all the upcoming information about how to win this pair of shoes. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to me, Seth Fowler, if you want to see more content just like this. And follow me on all other forms of social media. The links will be in the description below.